Hey guys, NH here, and as you can see, I'm in a different location today. This is actually my room. I'll do a room tour later, just not now. <coughs> <coughs> if you guys remember about when I did my recon video, well, actually, I didn't post that. Um, yeah, I didn't post that. But, anyways, I tried to make the recon bolt action, but that failed horribly. What I did was, what happened is that after I tried to make a bolt action, it failed horribly. The gun still function, it just that when I put the clip into the gun with the darts, when I prime it back, it works fine. But when I prime it forward again, the darts would like, if I, if this was the dart, <laughs> you know how in the gun's how it goes forward, nothing happens to it. Every time when I prime it forward, the dart, the tip would like, like just bend. And then that way, it, the tip is pushing towards the plastic in the shell, so I couldn't, it wouldn't fire out, so I had to reach my pinky and then re reset it and stuff like that, so then it will fire. And I didn't want to do it for every shot, because that's just annoying. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it, when I prime it back, like, just got really fast, it works, but then it doesn't work after the second try, time I try to do the same thing, so I got tired of that. So I turned my recon into a recon pistol. And it's actually pretty decent, you gotta, I gotta admit. I'm gonna get two dots first. <coughs> two dots. So one goes in the handle, and then one actually goes into the breech. There's, there's multiple ways you can load this. You can load it f first. You can load it first. Oopsies. My camera fell. Guys, guys. then front load it or what I which is what I like to do. You can prime it back, that exposes the breach, and then you can just put it in like that. Or not. It's the hole, there it is. Oh, prime it up. Uh, and then you can just push it in. Like a bit deeper because the AR's out there. And then you can like do that and then you can shoot. Do the same for every shot, unless you want to load it a different way. As I said, there's three ways: you can front load, prime, prime, front load, and then or prime in, prime forward, shoot. You also, do prime the gun. The gun still maintains the barrel attachment ability and the stock attachment ability. I don't know what you would put on there because there's nothing really you can put on this. I guess you can put on a stock, but. Putting a stock onto a pistol just seems ridiculous to me. So, I'm not going to do your range test because I'm always going to bed. Um, I'll definitely do your range test on this uh, maybe later on the week. So, let me just go, go on go over some pros. Is that, it's actually, when you... Oh, let me show you how clean this cut is. Like, if you... Uh, hang on a second, where's my screwdriver? I'm just going to slide off. Right. As you can see, if I can just prime it because I can't see it without that. Okay, let me just prime it. And prime it. And prime it. This is so annoying. Okay, as you can see, that cut, like here and here, is so flush with the shell. Oh god. Um, the, how I got it like that is because I use a knife to score the shell. Like, just like go over that line numerous times until I penetrate through the, sh the plastic. And then I can just like work my way through, through the plastic. And then that's how I get the shell, the shell cuts to be so clean. I didn't even have to sand it because when I finished the cutting with my knife, I ran my finger across the groove that I've cut with the knife and it was like just really smooth. It was as smooth it was as smooth as something that you can you know, um like when you sat after you sand it, it's just so smooth. <laughs> Let's go over some pros now. The ranges are are pretty good because 
I stretched the spring, I took out the AR, and I also plugged the air release hole, which is what that E-tape is actually covering. Actually, you know how, let me just shoot this out. Loading is actually pretty fast, because what I like to do is I like to prime, expose the breach, load it up, prime forward, shoot. Which is what I like to do. And, and handle, well, not the handle, but this is not really a review. It's just like, it's, 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 it's not that small, but it's not that big either. It's actually average size for a Nerf pistol. You can actually just fit this into your pocket or a holster. You can make a duct tape holster for it, but, or any, well, you can, but I don't know why you would, because, I mean, this is like a big blaster to hold onto your, hold on your hip, so, yeah. Let's go for some cons now. Cons is that these are a bit, these corners are, these corners are a bit sharp. Because I haven't sanded them yet. Because I used to hacksaw with that. I need to sand them tomorrow. Because I've got to bend them in it. Um, it's only a one shot firer. So I mean. It's not really practical for a nerf. Well, I guess it's like a last minute resource. So like. Excuse me. So if you're like. Um, like you're out of ammo. And then this is all you have left. You can just like. like get back up again. And then you can just like do that. And then just go and catch up. In the face. Or anywhere else. You like to shoot them. Just, just as long as somewhere it hurts. Sorry if that sounds wrong. Okay, so that's been my overview on my recon pistol. I hope you all enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.